So I uh, I just got back from seeing air about, I don't know, an hour ago. Awesome. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say for the time being. I am going to do a, a spoiler cast later on, uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. I want to get you know everybody to go see it that has a chance to. But wow. I, I just, there's, I'll put it this way. There's a reason why it's a 95% on, on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Unbelievable. I loved it. I mean, just, but that's all I'll say for the time being. It, it's a good time. If you guys get a chance, go check it out because it's an absolute blast. So um, as you've seen in the description and everything else, we have a big show. This is a big, big show. Um especially for a Thursday, right? So um, I think it's because, you know, a couple of things coming out, whatever else. So one of the reasons why it's a big show or a super show, as we'll call it, is uh, Super Mario Bros. So this is one of those movies that I originally, when I saw the numbers that they said, oh yeah, it's going to make this amount during the five days. I said, no, there's no way. I did, even, you know, and I played the games and everything else. And I just went, and then after I saw what it took in the first night, I just went, oh, my God. It is just unbelievable. Because it's just, it's one of those things where you have to see it in order to see the numbers in order to believe it. So, um, yeah. So, this comes from uh, The Hollywood Reporter. And it says, let the Easter egg hunt begin. Illumination and Universal's Nintendo video game adaptation, the Super Mario Brothers movie, is off to a rip-roaring start at the box office. And is now looking to score at least $141 million in its five-day domestic debut over the long Easter weekend uh, after starting Wednesday with an impressive $31.7 million, according to early models. And I, I'll tell you why that is in a couple of minutes. I think why it's blew up so much. More bullish pundits suggest the film could even approach $150 million. Super Mario is, has every chance of becoming the first blockbuster of 2023, even if traffic if tracking is any indication. Not only is the PG-rated pick whipping up interest among families, it is appealing to the generations of adults <laughs> who grew up playing Nintendo's widely popular Mario game, or those that still play. The movie opened Wednesday in order to take advantage of the uh, spring holidays. It is also unfurling its 70 markets overseas in an impressive $8 million Wednesday in its Asian Pacific territories, including a robust $5 million in China. The animated comedic adventure follows the story of Brooklyn plumbers and and brothers, Mario and Luigi, as they're transported to uh, the magical kingdom, worlds and separated. So basically, it, it, so it, it, just, it describes the cast, and it describes who it's directed by. And so the other film that's really, you know, doing some numbers this week, as I said, just got back from seeing, and I loved, was Air. Um, this was just in an unbelievable movie. So Air, okay, is eyeing a five-day debut of $16 million based on early returns, opening to a $3 million Wednesday. Air is historic is that the first movies from Amazon Studios to receive an exclusive theatrical trailer in thousands of theaters across the world uh, streaming on Prime Video before an announced date. The film boasts glowing reviews, and now a covenant score of 95%, and it's gotten an A uh, score from CinemaCon from audiences. The biographical sports drama stars Matt Damon and Viola Davis chronicling uh, Nike's early cha uh, game-changing days and is backed by Amazon Studios, Skydance, and Mandalay Pictures. It's also the inaugural project from Affleck and Matt Damon, their production company, which co-founded the last, which was last year, with Redbird Capital and the first time for Affleck, and he's directing one of his movies. Okay, let's talk about this because th this is pretty big. Okay, the thing is, um, Mario had a huge opening, right? I mean, everybody knew this was going to be a big movie, and 
it's one of those things where I, I'll be honest, I didn't even think it was going to be this big. Um, I, I've yet to see it. I'm going to go see it tomorrow. As I said, I've seen air though. And um, th- this is, I so a couple of reasons why I think this has done such big numbers. Okay. Number one, I think that it is Super Mario Brothers, right? So, I mean, you're going to have adults and, and kids going alike to see this. Number two, okay, it is short. It is only about 90 minutes. So, I mean, if you want a quick little something to, to take the kids to, this is it, okay? Um, and, you know, as, as the piece described, this appeals to everybody, not just kids, but adults alike. I, I, as I've said before, I grew up playing Mario Brothers, and I loved it. You know, I mean, I played other games with the Nintendo, but I thought it was a blast. So I think the fact that, you know, you have Chris Pratt voicing Mario, and you have, you know, Jack Black in there and a couple of other, you know, notable names, I think really definitely helps. Um, if this could make... Look, if this could make $140 million opening weekend, that's huge. And we're not even in May. I mean, everybody's waiting to May to, you know, really have, you know, Guardians 3 come out. And we'll talk about that later on in the show. But, like, it's one of those things where this could be huge. And, I'm, I'm look, I'm happy. I'm happy if this makes that much money. You know, because, you know, it's one of those things where, you see the nostalgia once again, but it's also going to be a good time for everybody. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing this. I can't, you know, just for a number of different reasons. But yeah, so I think now let's talk about air because air, this is this is vitally important. Okay. This movie, and as I said, I just got back from seeing it. Wow. I, I everything about this is just spot on for what it was right this was not going to be a huge huge movie or a huge huge blockbuster and that's fine it didn't have to be um i'll be honest hearing it only made three million dollars opening opening day kind of bummed me out because (laughs) i unfortunately it's getting crushed by mario and and it was obviously going to make its numbers but this is such a feel-good movie, guys. It really, really is. It's it's about, you know, as the piece described, it's about the business side of it. Not so much, you know, and, and they're all vying for them. It's a blast. I will be doing a spoiler cast on this. Um, I'll be doing a space tonight with Kid Stone about this. But also, I will be doing a spoiler cast this weekend because um, I want, like I said, I want everybody to see this. So it's one of those things where, you know, it's only Thursday. And, and I don't want to, you know, uh, give anything away and, and everything else. But it's a good time. It's a good time. I think that this is needed. And this really could be the, the thing that, like, it's the biggest boost you could have. So I can't wait. I can't, I'm really interested in seeing Mario tomorrow. And, you know, who knows? I mean, that will probably be, you know, uh, I'll just talk about that briefly, you know, on the show uh, next week. But what do you guys think? Um, Have you seen Super Mario Brothers? Have you seen Air? Which one did you like more? Um, Did did you like both? Maybe you didn't like either one of them. They weren't up your alley. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, and I'll get back to everybody.